checking out Shadows Follow from the new Metallica album, my favorite song. Check it out. Shadows Follow. Um, I finally listened to the whole record and most of it's awesome. This is my favorite song. So I had to learn it and um, figured I'd share it with you guys. I looked up on Ultimate Guitar and some wonderful human being has put up a tab for it and it looks very, very accurate. There, are, I found a few little tiny errors, but whatever. Thanks, dude, for whoever did that. Um, I'm figuring this out by ear. Uh, I have the tab up here, but I'm just using it to reference because there are probably, there are probably like, I'm going to say, I don't know, 10 to 18 different parts <laughs> in this song. All right, so we're going to start with the coolest part, all right, the main sort of, what I'm going to call the main riff, which is this song. Um, tone riff okay so, um, so the Metallica does this in a lot of songs they use these particular notes so, so we're in the key of E or E minor I guess so we're gonna do a lot of E power chords and we're gonna use the third fret on the E string that's G so that's our minor third Second fret on the D string. That's E. That's our that's our root. Okay, we also have that same note here. Seventh fret on the A string. All right, and then we have first fret on the A string. So let's call that um, B flat. Okay. So that's our flat five. That's called the tritone or the devil's note, or the devil's interval. You'll recognize that from uh, um, I forgot what song that is. It's on the Black Album. Oh no, maybe it's on Injustice for All. Oh my God, I'll check. Anyway, here's the riff, uh, the main, the main riff. So um, we've got power chord. So we go. Fred 
A string, that's our tritone. And then back to the G. So again, slowly. does the little this little part different the first time and then the second time so again here here's the whole thing second and fourth measures are different. So we go E power chord. two riffs uh, like the main riff and the verse so that's so that's the main riff and the verse and then the pre-chorus we go into this, this cool little um, chromatic minor blues kind of thing where again another Metallica staple um, Try tone again, B flat. 
flat power chord. And this is my favorite part of the song. Um, he's actually doing a cool melody with some harmonies in the back. So we're going to go, we're going to go. Okay. I'm just looking at the tab here so I don't mess this up. So it's a... Uh, chorus all together starting with the riff one two three four So we've got two guitars going on. One's doing one thing, one's doing the other. They're very similar, but one's, so one of them's going, uh, let's see, actually, let's double check that one. Yeah. All right, so one of them, one, both guitars are doing this. And then the other, the other guitar is going. So here we go. Again, we're going to use power chord, tritone, which is the sixth fret. That's a B flat note. So E power chord. tone again, 6th fret. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do sort of the same thing with the power chord and some single note. And then this little, uh, so instead of that, we're going to go 7, 6, 7 on the A string. And that's a pull-off hammer-on.
back to the main riff. The transition is just the sixth fret, they go. They, they stay on the 6th fret, power chord, they go. So, open E. And then just Then into the main riff, so transition again. Listen, this one part when they go. Sorry. Um, I would really listen to that a bunch of times. It kind of sounds like the guitars are going. But I think it's the bass underneath. I think the guitars are just doing the one. And underneath, Robert is going. So. Get to work on that, and then we'll have part two coming up next. Thanks.